Well, what's up, YouTube? Big for Philly, and I'm back at it again with another video. I'm at storage. I'm here, and I'm just going to pull a few items. Um, I think I have like four or five going out, so we'll start pulling them. Also, if you can see behind me, it's a, it's a mess in there. I actually was able to pick up a bunch of shipping supplies. Uh, store was going out of business, and I was able to get a bunch of shipping supplies, um, shelving, uh, carts, a little box organizer. Uh, I mean, like a ton, a ton of stuff uh, all for free. So, um, but the thing is now I'm left with this crazy, crazy, it was already messy and now it's going to, it's even messier. Like I got to, I got to dedicate like a few days in here just to straighten everything out. But we're here now, we'll pull the orders and so let's see what we sold. So first thing going out is going to be here in A13 and right here on top, uh, Show Show a con, I think it might his name might be, but it's a uh, from Mortal Kombat uh, McFarlane figure. Whoops! So it's pretty pretty cool figure. I'm shocked that I only got seven bucks for it. I took an offer, you know, I made enough money on the that marketplace deal that I'm I'm just happy to see it go. Even though the one dude did a he he I know he scammed me out of it. I just I refunded him. He asked if the joints were loose. They weren't loose, I checked, but he uh, he sent me a picture. Oh, you told me it wasn't loose, blah, blah, blah. You know, playing the old eBay game, so. But I took seven bucks for this guy right here. All right, guys, next up is going to be an A14 down there on the bottom. Um, down here. And it's a set of four. It's like silverware spoons let's turn you guys around so it says it's an a14 here they go and it's uh holmes and edwards i don't even know i don't know if you can see there holmes and edwards it's just a little set of spoons here eight bucks plus shipping nothing major um i don't i somebody gave me like a whole bunch of stuff and these were like in it so i don't have anything into it that's why i don't mind just selling it for eight dollars not it's a dinker, put it that way, but what are you gonna do? All right, next up's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass here. Uh, I gotta get past all this stuff. Ow. One of them is gonna be in one of these boxes over here. And I believe the other one is gonna be back in that little three-tiered thing that way. Nope, that way. There you go. This is one of the items that I end up picking up this big bin right here. And I'll probably maybe just store some uh, Guitar Hero guitar, some Nerf guns, some of the bigger, maybe golf clubs that stand up a little taller. So, but I got to get this cleaned out first. That way it could sit in here nicely. So next up is going to be this three tiered bin. And I just like store like dolls in this one this one's like cars and like more kind of smallish stuff so i think i see one of them let's see yeah this car let's see if i can get it right here and this one right here um, i forget what they're called let's come out in the light here these two little and they're just plastic cars Nothing special. I'll just say a name on the back here. Speed burners. I don't know if there was like Migos or I don't know the name of it, but these speed burner, these cars. I'll pop the the, the uh, comp up. I had them posted for thirty two plus shipping. Somebody uh, sent me an offer of twenty plus shipping, and I was happy to take them. I bought these in a big lot of cars that I paid ten bucks for the whole lot, and I've already made a ton of money. Not a ton, but I made good money on it so for 20 bucks i'm happy to let them go i just had to do a little bit of digging but i did end up finding it it's in my old storage system so this is an old old item definitely two years old um when i uh bought this Qu cuisinart uh prep nine 
and it uh i've sold a bunch of parts off of it this i think is the last item that is left the last item that was parted out to sell uh i didn't get big money for this um like i said it's been listed a while but uh happy to see it go it is a little heavy and i only charge 12 hour shipping so yeah that's super heavy so that might be a little bit of a situation depending if uh depending on where it's going because i don't think i'm going to get that in the no flat rate uh medium flat rate so i'll let you guys know what happens with the shipping on that one but cuisinart prep nine replacement base going out all right guys as you can see i had a bunch of dinkers going out uh, i had a seven dollar plus shipping going out i had an eight dollar plus shipping going out i had a ten dollar plus shipping going out and a twenty dollar plus shipping going out so nothing crazy but this is uh the reality you know uh, i keep it real uh with you guys over here you know i don't claim to be an expert i don't claim to be a guru i'm just my channel is just showing you guys my journey of reselling i got into it during the pandemic and i i enjoy it so you know i'm not full-time but i haven't been feeding the algo i haven't been listing so sales are slowing up a little bit you know uh, I was happy to see a few of those older items go, though. That processor been around for a minute. The uh, spoon's been around maybe for a minute. So I'm happy. I'm always happy when those older items go. But a little bit slow. Hopefully, it'll pick back up. Now, things are slowing up a little bit for me. I could start listing that death pile. I was just happy to get here. Storage closes at 10. I left my house at 947. And I raced here, got here. Uh, if you get into the building before 10 o'clock you're fine but once 10.01 hits you can't or once 10 o'clock hits i guess you can't get in so i i got here i was able to pull my items guys thanks for watching uh like comment subscribe if you're feeling nuts obviously hit the bell and do me a favor go over to instagram and check me out at big thrift philly and i'll catch you guys in the next video